Patricia says, I think my daughter is possessed by a demon. She's in jail, and I can't even stand to be around her long enough to go visit her. Do you have to physically touch someone <laughs> or be around them to cast out a demon, or can I pray it out of her from afar? Well, it depends on how good you are at praying, but the answer is yes, you can pray it from afar. But I think you ought to get a group together <clears throat> and maybe see that daughter, but you may have to have an exorcism. I don't know what she's got, uh, but I do know that uh, sometimes, but the last thing you want to do is to get together and start singing um, this power in the blood. You don't serenade demons. You, you command them in the name of Jesus to, to leave. Mm. And uh, I, I think doing that long range, you see the, the Lord dealing with the Gadarene demoniac. The man came to him, fell at his feet, and Jesus, the demons were talking to Jesus. So uh, I think, I don't know, she's in jail. I don't know if, if the jailers would allow you to have a little uh, intercessory uh, deliverance meeting if you brought some people in. Well, if she can get enough time with her, she could just say it real quick, you know, and just cast that demon out if the daughter's open. Well, but, you, you, need, yeah. you need prayer, but I yeah. mean, I, I had a demon say, you know, you can't have her, she's mine. I, and I said, no, demon, you can't. So sometimes they'll talk to you and you, you, you've got to respond. How come she's got the demon? Yeah. How come, what did she do to, to get possessed? Uh, you need to look into something beyond that. And you also need to make sure that you know what you're talking about that she hasn't got some mental illness right. uh, that, that needs uh, uh, psychiatric care or some uh, chemical intervention to keep her sane. Uh, be sure you know what you're talking about before you start casting out demons that may not be there. All right.